Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been following along, you know that I just recently revealed my guest bathroom makeover. One of the DIYs that I created for this makeover was my shower curtain ruffles on the bottom. I wanted to add a coastal farmhouse feel and the shower curtain that I had originally wanted was out of stock. So I created this cute little addition to the bottom of the curtain and everybody loved it. So here I am sharing how to recreate this yourself. So the first thing you're going to need is a white shower curtain. I found this one at my local Walmart for about $9.99. Then you're going to need about a yard of fabric. I had this white and gray ticking fabric from another project that was left over, so this was perfect for this. However, you can use whichever pattern you like. Next, you're going to need some wooden buttons. Now these can be a little expensive, but I found these on sale for $1.49 and even though I did not like the flower side, I decided to use the plain back side, which was nice and light wood. Okay, so there are three elements to the fabric ruffles. The top trim piece and the two different ruffles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut the top trim piece and that's going to be three and a half inches in width. I used a fabric ruler and a rotor cutter in order to make sure that the lines were super straight and I'll make sure to include all links to all the products that I use in this video in my description box below. I did have to cut two of these in order to make it long enough for the entire shower curtain bottom. And as you can see here, I also cut parallel to the ticking stripes. Then I needed to cut the ruffles. I cut six and a half inch wide pieces. I cut about five total of these to give me two whole ruffles from end to end of the shower curtain. And as you can see here, I cut perpendicular to the ticking stripes. So the first thing I had to do was sew the three and a half inch pieces together in order to create a full piece that would fit the entire width of the shower curtain. You have to be a little careful here and make sure that your stripes or your particular pattern lines up. So you're going to go ahead and set that aside and then work on your six and a half inch panels. Now what you're going to do is just do a simple hemline. You're going to want to either pin them down or if you're a little bit more seasoned, you can just go ahead and roll it under and send it right through your machine. Okay, so after all of the hems are done, you're going to want to attach the pieces together in order to, for them to be wide enough for the shower curtain. Now again, make sure you match up your patterns and I ended up using two and a half pieces for each of the ruffles. Okay, so now you're going to take your shower curtain out and you're going to want to find out how you want to place the ruffle on the bottom of it. Now using my fabric cutting mat, I laid everything on top of it and I knew I wanted my ruffles to be a little bit longer than the actual shower curtain. So I determined I wanted it to be about two inches longer just because I didn't like how short it looked up on the shower. Now once I knew where I wanted it placed, I pulled a little bit of extra fabric so I can fold it over and sew it down at the very end. That way it's one nice clean edge. Then when I was happy with the placement, I flipped it over, making sure that everything was nice and straight and started pinning down the very first ruffle. Now everybody has their own way of doing ruffles and I kind of like doing them as itty bitty little pleats. So as I'm pinning down the bottom ruffle, I am just taking a little bit of fabric and pinching it as I go. And I'm just basically eyeballing it, spacing them very evenly down the curtain. Then I just do my first pass of those ruffles on the sewing machine. Then I flipped the ruffle over and I gave it another pass. This will actually keep the ruffles staying down and not kind of puff up. Okay. 
Okay, so after the first ruffle was done, I brought in the second ruffle and I proceeded to lay it down on top. And I didn't want to cover the bottom ruffle too much, so I made sure that it only hung over about an inch. Then I pinned it and sewed it just like I did with the very first one. Then I ran it through the sewing machine and then a second time on top. So here's what it looks like with just the ruffles. Now you can certainly leave it just like this, but I wanted to add another detail to the top, of course. So here's what I did. So I knew I wanted the trim piece to lay over the very top ruffle, so I faced it down and kind of folded it over to see how I wanted it to look when I sewed it up. So facing the right side of the fabric down, I began pinning it right at the top seam of that top ruffle. And then I sewed it all the way down. Then I folded it over and pinned it all the way down again before putting it through the sewing machine. I wanted to make sure that the lines stayed straight. So definitely use pins for this. And then run it through your sewing machine. Then you wanna fold over the top and pin it down as well. And finally run that through the sewing machine. Then finally it was time to attach the buttons. So in order to get even placement of the buttons along the bottom, what I did was I folded the top of the shower curtain down all the way to the ruffles and I pinned them down. This way I can match the buttons to each of the little holes that goes to the rings on top of the shower curtain. Then I just sewed the buttons on with some dark gray thread. Now I didn't show this in the video. I somehow lost this footage, but as you can see when I fold it over, I did fold over those ends of the ticking fabric over the side of the curtain and sewed them down. So you can see it looks like one shower curtain all the way down. And with that, the shower curtain is complete. All you have to do now is either steam it or iron it down and install it. So if you love this coastal farmhouse DIY shower curtain tutorial, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because right now I am making over my entire kitchen and you don't want to miss that. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios!